cars stolen and vandalized while employees are at work. Chicago Ford workers are fed up and asking for more security. CBS 2's Tara Molina looking closer at the crime. She's live for us outside the plant. And Tara, they say at least 50 workers have been affected in the last year and a half. Joe and Erica, that's exactly what union leaders are telling us, and they claim there was a theft here just this past weekend. We brought their concerns directly to Ford and Chicago police. Fenced, but not secured, and leading to this. There was a rash of them out of nowhere. Photos of damage following thefts shared by Ford workers. Union leaders say that's not all. And people are getting their cars, sm windows smashed in, everything taken out. Other people come up, come out, and their car is completely gone. We checked out every parking lot where they say they're having problems. We saw security at a few of them, but the lots are open. They say any gated lot. That's all reserved for your higher end management. We're told the victims are too scared to speak out. We're also told there are dozens of them. So we looked closer. There are 30 police reports associated with the Ford plant's address, focusing in on the last year and a half when workers say this started. 12 car thefts, 8 criminal damage reports, and 10 total theft reports. We want a game plan and we want action. That's all there is to it. So what's being done about this? I brought all of this to Ford directly. A spokesperson sent us a statement saying they've already added personnel and support from CPD and quote, we are also implementing additional safety measures by adding secure access to employee lots and improving lighting and cameras. We do have a, a grievance filed with the company to make everybody whole, to uh, remedy the situation of trying to figure out what we can do about keeping unwanted visitors into our parking lot. Chicago police tell me there is no theft report associated with the theft union leaders tell us happened here over the weekend. Reporting live in South Deering, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News. Thanks, Tara.